this is the format that I use and notice how they're numbered for all of my files. Now I had my team help me do this over the last few years. This is my template. So I've created this template. I'll share a Dropbox link to this template in the description of this video. And you guys can actually just click on the Dropbox and you guys can make a copy of this. Yo, what's up my fellow creatives? Hey, I wanted to make a quick video to show you how to properly organize all of your files. If you wanna organize your files properly so that things aren't chaotic and all over the place and you got a bunch of organized folders like I got here, look at this folder. This is what I did for years and I just had everything in one folder and folders inside of folders inside of folders. This is not the way you wanna be organized. The way to be organized I'm gonna show you guys in this video, this has helped me out a lot, but I use Dropbox, you can use Google Drive. It's not about the tool that you use, it's about how you use the tool. So let's just go into Dropbox for an example. So I have my main Dropbox folder here. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see. This is my main Dropbox folder. I got a bunch of stuff in here you can see that's not organized yet. But if you go into an existing client, and I'll just go into active clients here just to show you an example and you look at an existing folder. This is the format that I use and notice how they're numbered for all of my files. Now I had my team help me do this over the last few years and really dial this in, but I have zero, zero through zero eight. I have the brand guide, which everything has all my branding stuff inside of here, brand guidelines, branding blueprint, all that stuff that goes in here, all the logo files. I have their images, any images that they have. Now there could be a social media images folder in there. There could be an email images folder. There could be website images folders inside of that. Anything that you're gonna have in terms of images. Here's all of the print stuff. So inside of here, I could have signage. I could have business cards, stationery. I could create different subfolders within that. On the fourth folder here, I have their website. So everything that we're doing in regards to their website is gonna go in here. Here's all their social media stuff. So anything we're creating documentation wise around their social media is gonna go here. Any social videos, things like that. And then we have have their documents so this is where i have the most amount of stuff right now this is what we've been kind of laying the foundation for this company so i have all their documentation here archives anything that you're not going to use anymore maybe old stuff that they had from the past that's where you're going to put that and then this is my video folder so i'm going to have videos that need to be edited videos that we need to work on long form content or vlog videos any kind of video content we're going to have is all going to go here and what's nice about dropbox is i can just right click this and i can hit share dropbox link now let me show you one that has a lot more information in it here's a good example this is crunchy cottage we'll just switch the view here you see your brand guides logos images print website social media documents archive screenshots everything that's brand related 10 is emails and then I have gift cards, holiday fair. So this would go under events. So I could create an events folder or I can just put this inside of documentation, but I'm probably gonna do this. I'm gonna create a, a 12th folder, just say 12. And we're gonna say events because Crunchy Cottage does a lot of events. So we're gonna put this here in the holiday there. We're gonna put that in there. We're gonna keep organizing this even more. This is a graphic. Let's see what this is here. This looks like this is one of the postcards. So this is gonna go in print. I'm gonna actually keep both just to be safe. And then the eight by eight boxes, right? This is also gonna go into print. So this is all the main documentation for Crunchy Cottage. You can see I have a lot of stuff in some of these folders. I got the brand guide, nothing in here yet, but I have stuff inside of print. I have stuff inside of brand, and this is where most of the stuff actually is for the company. So you got business cards, gears, logos, stickers, trade show booth displays, website. So there's a lot that I can show you there, but if we go back to the clients folder, you're gonna see right here, this is my template. So I've created this template. I'll share a Dropbox link to this template in the description of this video. And you guys can actually just click on the Dropbox and you guys can make a copy of this. I'm not afraid to do that, to share that with you guys. So you guys can use the same format. It's pretty straightforward, should be pretty easy to do. But I think if you organize this, it's gonna help you be a lot more efficient. And then every time all I do is come in here and I hit duplicate, I change the name of it. So if I have a new company like VMV, right? I'm just gonna go in here and now I got everything that I need inside of here. This whole folder is done in a matter of seconds. I can just start dropping stuff in there. So something I wanted to share with you guys, I think will be super helpful. If you have any questions, you need anything else and you love videos like this, drop a comment, let me know. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm Adrian Boycell and as always, keep looking up.